Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, here today to talk about the Ricoh printers. We're going to talk about doing a head flush on the Ricoh printer, which is performed after you've checked your nozzle check, usually after you've done a couple of head cleanings. A flush is very costly in ink, so you want to make sure you pay attention to this video very well. This is going to apply to the 3300, the 5050, and the 7000. So a head flush, I'm going to walk you through the steps, I'm going to explain to you how and when to do one so that you don't waste your ink. So we'll get started on that here in just a second. So we're at the menu now, we're going to talk about doing the head flushing. You would do a head flushing only if the head cleanings are not working and you've got a clogged nozzle and you may want to try the capping station cleaning before you do this. But definitely you want to do a head flushing if you've got a clogged nozzle and the head cleanings are not working. So to do the head flushing, you're going to press menu, you're going to arrow down until you see maintenance, you're going to press your enter key, you're going to arrow down until you see head flushing, you're going to press your enter key, it's going to ask you if you want to flush all four heads and you're going to say, you're going to click enter and it's going to say press pound to flush heads. So your enter key is your pound key, so you'll press that and it'll begin to do the flushing here in just a second and that usually takes a few minutes. When it's done, uh, we'll talk about how to get out of the menu. So the head flushing is completed and we want to get out of the menu, but of course we want to do a nozzle check here so that we make sure that the flushing has helped. So go ahead and escape all the way out and make sure you get back to ready and check your nozzle check just to make sure that you've made improvements. And if you haven't made improvements or if you're making improvements, but not quite there, you could do another flush or head cleaning to get it there. But no improvements, give us a call here at Condi. Okay, so we've talked about how to do a head flush on the Ricoh printers, the 33, the 5050, and the 7000. When to do a flush on the printer. Make sure again that if you have any questions about how to do these procedures or why or when you would do them, call us here at Condi Systems. Anyone in our support department should be able to respond and give you an answer on when to do the flush. So again, my name is Vicki, and I thank you for your time.